It is a four star time. In the first episode, we set the grand rules for this account, but I think some of you either forgot or didn't see that. The three first characters that we got were free and we got them when we got them. Barbara, we said we were going to get once we finished the monster Archon quest, because that's when you normally get her. For the other free characters like Kachina, Lynette, Cole, etc., we were going to allow ourselves to claim one of any of those characters when we finished an Archon quest besides the monster one. But when it came to characters like Jian Ling, who you get through doing the Spiral Abyss, the rules that I had previously set was we could just claim them when you would normally get them. I think for Xiang Ling that's floor 3 and then Kole is floor 4. But of course because I like a challenge we're not going to claim them until we perfectly 3 star those floors. In last episode we discussed whether or not I should change it so that whenever we could get one of those 4 stars we can pick from any of the ones available. And you guys seem to like that idea. Meaning that if we were to go and finish the Spiral Abyss floor 3 or 4 we could then claim one of any of the 4 stars. Including Lynette. However I would then like to also change one more thing. Like I stated, it is currently floors three and four that we would get the free characters from, and I feel like that might be a little too easy. I would rather change it to floors four and eight. That way, it still won't take us a really long time to get these characters, but we're not going to be overwhelmed with a ton of characters at once. Which means our goal for today should be trying to beat floor four with three stars. And I know that that doesn't sound like a very difficult thing, but last episode, we tried to beat floor three and we couldn't get three stars there. We did do a live stream recently where I went through and just did some basic farming. We worked a bit on gaming as well as Kaya. And our issue right now is we are completely out of XP books, which is very unfortunate, not just because I want to strengthen our current characters, but also because we have to do some more pulling on the banner today. Now I'm not gonna lie these aren't exactly the most exciting of four stars in my opinion but just having more character options on the account is never a bad thing so speaking of new characters let's just go ahead and pull for our next four star question is are we gonna see another weapon that then forces us to pull on the weapon banner here because that has happened the last two times this is our eight pity nine pity and guaranteed pity for a four star let's see who we're getting it is it just like guaranteed to alternate between weapons and characters? Because I thought that it wasn't. Okay, well, to the weapon banner until we get a four star. Hopefully I have enough. Uh, I should have enough primos for this. Okay, early pity on the weapon banner. I swear it's the same thing every episode. We get ourselves Favonius Codex, which is pretty good weapon. Then we come back to the character banner until we get a four star character. Okay, that was definitely nine or ten pity again. And... We get Cole. I know we're gonna get a free copy of her later on, but having early access to Dendro is a pretty good thing for us, and we do have two Favonius Warbos. I don't think I'm gonna refine it yet because, you know, other characters might need another one, but we could make ourselves a Burning Deem. Now, leveling Cole would force us to take a trip over to Sumeru, but like I said, our resources on this account are running very thin at this point in time. Also, I have seen a few comments just warning me to make sure that I refine weapons, but don't worry, I do that on every account. I always make sure that I have a max refined version of each three star before I feed the rest. Side note, we might also swap Lisa over to the Favonius Codex. The only negative thing about using Favonius weapons early game is getting substats of crit rate is not exactly easy. We're still not going to be farming artifacts for quite a while, so we just have to use whatever the game gives us. And that means right now we're running a two-piece berserker just for the crit rate and then two-piece instructor for some free EM. Though unfortunately, 17% crit rate is not going to be be procking that weapons passive very often. I think with our resin, we're going to be a bit all over the place since it is Sunday and that means everything's open. And I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know if this is a new thing, but it shows you the craftable amount of all the things that you have. That could have been there for years and I've just never seen it. But without even having to spend resin, we can already ascend Gaming's weapon again and then we can also level that right up. Since he is our main damage, I feel like that is an important thing to do. And now I'm wondering whether I should try to work on his talents or spread around our resin to the other characters that need it. One issue we are running into, like I discussed in a previous video, is this domain requires Animo to be unlocked. So while I wouldn't mind running Kaya on Harbinger of Dawn or even the Skyrider Sword for the ER, both of those can't be leveled until we get Lynette. And we can't get Lynette until we beat Floor 4 in the Spiral Abyss. But thanks to enhancing the Fafonius Warbo, they actually gave us what we need to at least ascend it one time. That's nothing crazy, but the extra ER is definitely nice. Oh, we can actually do it again. Yeah, sure, why not? That gets Kole already up to 170% energy recharge. Oh, and then they give us what we need to 
do it again. Wow, they, they just give us a bunch of stuff. I mean, I'm not going to say no, but apparently the game is. We do currently have this event going on. The problem is you kind of need to use Night Soul stuff for this to work. And the issue with that is we very clearly do not possess that technology. They do give us trials, but all of those trials are of five star characters. So I'm not so sure if this is something we're going to be able to do, but I would very much like to get all the resources from this event if we can. So let's go ahead and we'll give this a shot. Obviously, we can't use Shalonen. And I'm just going to say now, there's no way that we beat this within the 210 seconds. Oh, well, I, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have this thing. I forgot that they give you that. Hold on. We might have a chance. I completely forgot about this mechanic. So we just collect those come back, pop the shield, and yeah, this is actually not bad. I know the later stages will be a little annoying without being able to use all the grappling or going on water mechanics, especially the Mulani one, because for some reason, the bug in that one flies so fast. And honestly, just pummeling it isn't that bad of an option either. All right, I, I guess I was worried for nothing, but since I have already done this event in a different video, I'm not going to show you guys all of this again. Oh, right. I have to actually go across Natlin. I forgot we haven't done that on here yet. But then after this, there is also another new event in co-op. And I'm a bit torn on that because like it's free stuff, but there's no way that I can control everyone into only picking four stars. So I don't know if I should just not do it or if I should do it. I suppose technically the correct thing to do would be to do it during a live stream, get people in the world that are only using four star characters and then do it with them. Because according to this, you can bring in a set group. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this first event. I was able to fully finish all of the event except for this last one. I could not do it in time. Some of them I did have to do multiple times in order to get under the, the it's like three plus minutes, three and a half minutes. But that last one was just a bit too difficult. Thanks to that event, I was able to level up the Favonis Warbow and we should be able to level Kaya up to level 60. I would also like to take a little trip over to Sumeru as we should probably start collecting the stuff that Kole needs as we go. That way I don't suddenly need 168 copies of a random plant. And I I believe that this is the area where they tend to spawn more. We'll just grab a couple of them. I'm glad that we have the option of hunting for these using the book. Because for some reason, this is one of those plants that I've always really struggled to find. Though even with the book, it's still hard to find where exactly these things are. I've been running around these blue circles for about 10 minutes now. And I've yet to be able to complete a single one of them. Because I can't find any more within their radius. I guess technically within their circumference. But I was able to get 12, which is enough for the first ascension, though not enough for the second. That means I have to find one more of these things somewhere. It's like I'm playing hide and seek with a plant and the plant is absolutely winning. Oh, I found one. I was going to say I could do Kole's trial to get more of them, but I forgot they don't give her a trial. Now we need to make our way across all of Sumeru because Kole needs the boss over no, not that way, Paimon. Over there. Then we just jump inside of this portal. And now we have access to the boss. Usually you want Electro for this. I'm going to see if I can do it without that though. Which I mean, I know you can do it. I just don't know if we can do it. The one issue that this team has is Gaming does not heal nearly enough without Barbara. And also, I mentioned it during the live stream how sometimes I'll use my burst and I only get to do the plunging attack like two times after and it just stops. And people were saying that that has never happened to them, but it just happened again. Like I used the burst, I got two plunging attacks and then the little dog stopped coming back. But there's our first takedown of the boss with two drops. Kole unfortunately needs a tiny bit more XP to level up, but then we will be able to ascend her. I think for the rest of our resin, we're just going to farm talent books, starting with Gaming. And depending on how much resin we have left after this, we'll probably try to do Kaya as well. Although I did forget that this is the pyro domain, which is highly unfortunate for us. Slight change of plans. I ran that domain about three times. I leveled up Gaming's skill to level three, but since his talent materials are available on Mondays, I think it would be smarter to instead farm this one today. Plus leveling up Kaya's skills would also make Gaming's talent domain easier because it's all pyro enemies and Kaya's pretty good there. So we will instead be spending our resin here. Yeah. See? Like right there. Why did the little doggo stop coming back? If someone can just explain that to me, what I'm doing wrong, I would very much appreciate it. And it did it again. Oh, you have to be over 50% HP for it to keep doing the thing. I didn't know that. 
but also, I swear I'm always under 50% HP and sometimes it still keeps coming back. So I kind of figured it out, but also it's still confusing. We are going to go ahead and bring Kaya's Burst up to level 3, then craft one more book and bring it to level 4. Four, which is hopefully the highest. Okay, good. If I could bring all talents up to five or six right now, it would just be so much farming I would have to do. So knowing that, let's also craft six more books and we shall bring Kaya's skill to level four as well. Actually, you know what? If I craft all the prosperity that we can, we can bring Gaming's skill to level four, which is the biggest priority for him. But now, sadly, we have run out of resin. But I feel like we've already made some decent progress towards being able to clear floor three. Upgrading artifacts would probably be the biggest upgrade that we could do, but we don't even have much fodder for what we currently have. Honestly, something that we might try to do is if we gather up enough of these to get into the tribal secret spaces, we would be given some free five-star artifacts, though the set bonus doesn't help anyone on this account right now. But just for those five star stats in general, it might be worth it. With our resin now regenerated, I could go farm Gaming's domain like I planned to yesterday, but his skill is already max level for what it can be right now. And while leveling up his burst would get us a little more damage, I don't know if it's that important because then it goes back to skill damage. So what we might actually want to do is go ahead and farm some ley lines. That way I can at least get the other characters we're going to be using up to the right level, ideally. Though to be honest, I don't think we're going to be able to get that much from this. One ley line is enough to get Kole up to level 40. Unfortunately, we don't have enough of the dendro slivers because the shop in Mondstadt never sold dendro ones, which means I actually might have to go fight that boss again. So even though it might not be the best use of our resin, we will claim some drops and that allows Kole to at least be ascended for the second time. I do just want to recheck on what enemies are on floors three and four. Animo would be so good for this chamber, but th that's the whole reason why we're doing this in the first place. And then floor four has Hydro, which is a good thing that we now have Kole. I'm going to spend our remaining resin farming ley lines, and then I guess it's just up to whether we can do the Abyss or not. I do find it kind of funny how this is just like a massive side quest so that we can actually proceed with the Geo Archon quest. Also, now that I have been paying closer attention to it, it does seem like Gaming's burst only brings back the skill when he is above 50% HP, like the skill says. And that kind of is a problem if I'm planning on bringing this team into the Spiral Abyss because I don't have a way to keep him above 50% health. I do want to keep Shinyan on the team because it's extra pyro application, it's pyro resonance, and it gives us a shield, but I may have to swap her out for Barbara. We are just constantly completely out of resources. It is honestly kind of tragic. But now that I did swap Barbara back onto the team just to test out how it would do, it feels so much better to play Gaming when you can keep him above 50%. So I think that this team will be our best bet here. There's still a lot more stuff I would like to upgrade, but I really don't want to dip into to fragile resin at this level it's just not worth it so let's get our team and head into floor three i will be taking my elemental mastery and i know that there are so many enemies that spawn in here oh and first up our pyro slimes very fun for us oh season's greetings free primos i think we definitely are doing more damage than we were last time and luckily we already had three stars on the first chamber just no stars on the other ones but even with that we had about 30 seconds to spare now for this one I guess skill damage is probably a pretty good choice. I heard Gaming will very much appreciate that. So let's get all of our stuff up and then start doing this and maybe maybe some of, some of that. This is when I believe it's going to get a lot harder for us. Of course, we do have some burning at our disposal. We have to go as fast as we can. Okay, uh, I think this is the last batch. We have about a minute. Let's make sure we're spamming all of our bursts because we could always, you know, get three stars here. And then if we can't get three stars on the last chamber and we don't have bursts, we could just restart until we get three stars. I'm very bad at trying to explain things while I'm also trying to do stuff in game. But we are fine. Nine. Three stars for chamber two. I'll be honest, I don't like any of these cards. Two enemies. Okay. Oh, wait, this should be easy. Let's just get everything up and then boom. Oh, that, that seems pretty good. Okay, one is down and two are down. It was just that second chamber that was really holding us back. Now for floor four. I'm going to be using the same exact team, or at least trying to. Uh, Yeah, sure, I'll take EM. This is when Kole has a good chance to shine. Because there is going to be a lot of hydro here, which is also good for Gaming. And thanks to Gaming, 
This is going pretty well. Of course, I keep getting frozen, which is annoying. Oh, and then this thing's here. Okay, let's drop the burst. And then also, no, get out of the bubble. Get out of the bubble. Thank you. We need to make sure that that thing is dead. I have a feeling more of them are going to spawn. Okay, stop with these bubbles. And yeah, we do have another one, but I do have my burst. And we have Kaya. Okay, easy three star. Now I'm definitely taking skill damage. Is this a monolith? Uh, yes. I do want to heal because if Gaming dies, we are in huge trouble. Can we just get a character that's immune to freeze? I hate being frozen. It's like, oh, you wanted to play the game? Oh, no, you don't get to do that. All right, there are two enemies left. I'm gonna guess it's two of the Abyss Mages. A oh, it's only one. We are also getting some Burgeons because of Barbara. Then for the final chamber, again, not a huge fan of these cards, but there's only seven enemies, and of course I'm gonna get frozen. Uh, two. Oh, this is it. And what's funny is when the game first came out, this was still the enemy set that was in here, but Dendro didn't exist. With Dendro, this becomes so easy. So there is floor four done which means we will now allow ourselves to pick one of any of the four stars that are available to us i think we should pick cola no i'm not, I'm not doing that john ling is obviously a very good choice but we want our animo character so lynette will be the first animo character on this account now unfortunately because i finished floors three and four like this was the only exclamation point that wouldn't go away but now we have two more of them. And I know I could claim them and then just not use them. But I just like actually claiming them once we do the thing that we're supposed to do. So this little exclamation point is probably going to be sticking around. As annoying as that is. Now this might sound crazy. All right. I kind of hope that we don't get another animal character for a while because I think it'd be fun to use Lynette as our VV Shredder. And if we ever in a team where there's a lot of different elemental types, then we also get 20% increased attack. So I think for her, we definitely want energy recharge and that means this is the only option. With the addition of Lynette, there's actually a lot of different types of teams that we could run. Like we could just commit to the freeze and melt. The problem that I'm running into is I would swap off Barbara for Lynette but Gaming needs a healer right now. If we had a C1, it wouldn't be as big of a problem. And the thing is, I really don't want to take Kole off. I've actually been enjoying the burning team, but obviously we're not stuck in one team and eventually we'll have to make two teams anyways. So now that we do have an Animo character at our disposal, we can come over here and open up the Mondstadt Weapon Ascension Material Domain, which means now I can actually upgrade the Harbinger of Dawn for Kaya. Gosh, we need so much more resin on this account. I would love to ascend Lynette a couple times just to get the books free artifacts that would give us two pieces of the viridescent set but as we can see oh wait maybe i can okay okay we could we could do one yes we can do one but we definitely cannot do two i think what we might have to do is kind of pick four characters that we want to invest in more so because if i keep trying to build up everyone at the same time it's not gonna work out so well and i feel like some variation of this or perhaps cole would probably be the best choice right now. I am somehow so good at logging into accounts right before they cap out on resin. I am so I am somehow so good at logging into accounts right before they cap out on resin. Unfortunately though, I think today is just going to be a day full of leyline farming. Reason why that's unfortunate is it's just not that exciting of a thing cuz you know exactly what you're going to get. And not only that, but you also know you're not going to get as much as you want. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, I did my first swirl. Baby's first swirl. All of our resin has been split between the two different types of ley lines, and while we were doing that, we actually did level up. You might think like, oh, this is probably the most exciting thing here, or even fragile resin, but no, it's the <laughs> it's the weapon material and the XP, and honestly, even the Mora. If we now try to level up Lynette, we uh, still can't get to level 40. Oh, and one last thing that I want to do. See, last episode, for some reason, you guys thought that you talked to this guy to get the dark iron and no, obviously, you talk to this guy. You ask him how the fish are selling, and for some reason, that makes him want to give you a weapon. And then you get the Dark Iron Sword. And we immediately lock that because there are only two of them that you can get in the whole game. I think between this episode and the next one on this account, I just need to spam ley lines as much as possible. Not the most exciting thing, but it has to be done. And in the next episode, we actually can proceed with the Geo Archon quest. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all next time.